Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs duties withdrawn for probing on graft allegations. Advanced technology for hospitals in Mogadishu. Salva Kir pardons his former deputy Riek Meshar. The government of Colombia joins 136 countries to recognize Palestine. A very good evening and welcome to the broadcast. Today, the Prime Minister of Somalia has stopped the Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs from his duties to pave way for investigation on graft allegations. The Somali Prime Minister, His Excellency Hassan Ali Khaire, has today on Thursday issued work stopping decree to the Deputy Minister for Foreign Affairs of the Federal Government of Somalia. Speaking to state media, the general director for the Minister of Information, Culture and Tourism, Abraham Yusuf Al Adala, described the reason behind work halting of the deputy minister. Mr. Abrahman stated, According to Article 99, it is branches of A, B, and C. Article 100, it is branches of A, B, and D of the Provisional Constitution for the Federal Republic of Somalia application of constitution, law and order, transparency and good governance based on national development strategic plan. According to suggestions from the Auditor General and allegations towards the Deputy Minister, the Prime Minister has stripped off the duties of the Deputy Minister for Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Honorable Mukhtar Mahad Daoud. This is in order for the constitutional accountability agencies such as countries Auditor General and the Attorney General to fulfill their duties in accordance with the constitution and the law of the country. The hospitals in Mogadishu will soon have ease access to high-end medical technological equipments for X-ray and ultrasound imaging. For the first time after instability in the country, investment companies are expressing an interest in Somalia. Today, Human Care Diagnostics, a local health care company, launched their partnership with Mindry, an international company from China that operates in over 20 countries in Africa. The Director General of Human Care Diagnostics expressed his delight, saying that hospitals in Mogadishu will no longer longer have problem in acquiring X-ray and ultrasound imaging equipment as before. The African Regional Director of Mandre stated that confirmed his hope is saying that there is hope for a brighter Somalia. This experience already changed, totally changed what I have knew before. So I saw a new Mogadishu, I saw the new Somalia, I also saw a potential Somalia. For the, because we are doing the medical business and uh, for the Somalia health system and uh, be frank and so far and the Somalia system has a long way to go. Salva Kiir grants amnesty to rebel leaders in South Sudan. President Salva Kiir granted a general amnesty to rebels in South Sudanese civil war including his former deputy Rick Masha. This comes as a rightist organization has said authorities in Africa's youngest country should also free it is unarmed critics. The amnesty order was read out on a state-run television late on Wednesday. This is three days after key SBLM leader Masha and the heads of other groups saying a ceasefire and power sharing agreement in the Sudanese capital Khartoum. A political row between Kiir and Masha is generated in 2013 into a war that has been killed tens of thousands, forced a quarter of population to flee their homes and wrecked the country's oil dependent economy. The conflict has often been fought along ethnic lines. Masha was freed this year from house arrest in South Africa, where he had been held since fleeing South Sudan in 2016. Now, Colombia becomes the latest among the 136 countries that recognize the statehood of Palestine. Colombia's foreign minister says his country has become the latest to recognize Palestinian statehood. 
Carlos Holmes said on Wednesday that the outgoing government of President Juan Manuel Santos made the decision last week, shortly before leaving office, giving possible omissions that could come to light about the way in which the decision was taken by the outgoing president. The government will continuously examine its implications and will act according to the international law. New Foreign Minister Carlos Holmes said in the statement. New President Ivan Daku was sworn on Tuesday. His government said it would study the implications of Santos' last-minute decision on Palestinians, but acknowledged that it was legal. The Israeli embassy in Bogota said it was surprised and disappointed. We ask Colombian government to reverse the decision made by the previous administration and its last days, which contravenes the close relationships, extensive cooperation in vital areas and interests of both countries, it said in a statement posted to a Twitter account. Palestine has been recognized as a sovereign state by the UN General Assembly, the International Criminal Court, and at least 136 countries. Palestine seeks to create a state in Gaza, the West Bank, and East Jerusalem lands that Israeli captured in 1967 war. Colombia abstained in December from a vote by the 193-member UN General Assembly on a resolution calling for the United States to drop its recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. U.S. President Donald Trump had threatened to cut off financial aid to countries that voted in favor. That's it from us tonight. Stay tuned.